Building sustainable health systems in emerging economies is one of the biggest challenges of our times. Trying to catch up with the health systems of developed economies won't work. It's too expensive, takes too long, and doesn't take advantage of the many new approaches available today. We believe that leapfrogging is the answer to empower emerging economies to provide the healthcare their people need. This is Mariam. She is pregnant and HIV positive. Growing up in a rural village means she has little access to healthcare. The nearest clinic is a three hour walk where trained professionals are rarely present and the medicine she needs is often not available. Mariam now faces the risk of transmitting HIV to her unborn child. It would take around 300 years and over 10 times the total annual public health expenditure of a typical sub-Saharan economy to ensure the same access to doctors per capita as developed economies. This is Jane. She has congestive heart failure. In her country, the best medical equipment, innovative treatments and highly skilled professionals are readily available. She is frequently hospitalized and forced to pay hefty sums even though simple prevention and remote monitoring technologies could be applied to manage her condition in the comfort of her own home. In many developed economies, over 20% of people have to pay for their care out of their own pocket, money they often don't have. Yet, their countries spend over 15% of their national wealth on health care. Still, health outcomes are not what they could be. It's clear that following the path of developed economies is not the answer. So what is the solution? We need to start fresh and fast forward to more effective and sustainable health systems. Imagine a different world, a world of possibilities and solutions, a world where Mariam received the services she needed from primary care that educated her to understand her condition and care for herself. A world where community health workers, well-trained nurses and midwives sent Mariam to the distant hospital only when she needed acute care with high-tech equipment and support. And finally, a world where people were empowered and equipped to manage their own health, where businesses and governments locally and globally worked together to provide innovative solutions that were affordable, scalable and put individuals like Mariam and Jane at the centre of the health system.